This video will explain how the femoral and subclavian workflow can be used to plan the approach route. We will assess vessel diameter, calcifications and tortuosity of the vessel. Because the femoral and subclavian workflow are very similar, only the femoral workflow will be demonstrated. Click on femoral or subclavian on the left. Perform a left click on a non-calcified part of the aorta in the volume rendering. The software will create a segmentation of the vessels. This segmentation can be seen in blue. Use the view selector on top of the viewport to only visualize the segmentation. If necessary, refine the segmentation. You can use the slider to include more or less vessels in the segmentation. To add vessels to the segmentation, click on Add Vessel and click on the vessel in the volume rendering. In case there are unwanted structures in the segmentation, you can use the Sculpt tool to remove them. Encircle the structure you would like to remove. You can only undo your last sculpt with the Undo button. If there is not enough contrast in the segmentation, click on Manual Centerline. When the segmentation is satisfactory, click on Confirm. With left clicks, indicate the start and end position of the centerline on the segmentation. If possible, place the point beyond the femoral head so the entry point of the patient can be assessed. Press Next. The software will calculate the center lines and display them. This step is to assess and adjust the center line before going to the measurement step. The right viewport gives an overview of all the control points. In this viewport, you can easily check if control points need to be added to the center line. If so, perform a left click on the center line. This view can also be changed to a stretch vessel view. If all the control points are centered in the vessel, the vessel will appear straight in this view. Use the mouse wheel to scroll over the control points and reposition the control points if necessary in the axial, coronal or sagittal view. The points can be repositioned by dragging them while pressing the left mouse button. To adjust the left iliac center line, click on it in the volume rendering. In case you need to extend the center line, you can use the grow functionality. For more details on this, watch the grow tutorial. If the center line is correct, click on the confirm button to go to the measurement step. This screen shows five viewports for assessment. The two right screens are stretch vessel views of the right and left side. The graph next to the stretch vessel view gives an overview of the diameters and tortuosity. The perpendicular plane on the left top shows the lumen segmentation in blue and the largest possible circle within that segmentation in yellow. The yellow circle mimics a catheter. The diameter of the yellow circle is represented in the graph next to the stretch vessel. This graph also contains a catheter line to indicate the size of the catheter that will be used. Everywhere where the graph colors red, the diameter of the yellow circle is smaller than the catheter size. These positions need to be assessed to understand if a catheter will fit through or not. This will depend on the dimensions, calcium and tortuosity at that position. In the perpendicular viewport, a min-max measurement is indicated in blue 
and the values will appear when hovering with the mouse over the segmentation. To place the measurement, right click on the measurement and select min max measurement. After the measurement has been placed, it can be adjusted by moving the handles. To save the measurement to the report, right click on the measurement and assign a label. A label is available for the common iliac, external iliac and the femoral artery. An overview screenshot of the measurements can be created by selecting the volume rendering and creating a screenshot. The embedded pictures box needs to be checked. Thumbnails of the individual measurements are shown. It is also possible to turn the lumen segmentation and the lumen enclosed circle off at the tools icon in the upper right corner. The infographic in the report gives an overview of the average diameters and the table below gives the min, max and average diameter. Here it is also possible to indicate the amount of calcium per section. To assess calcium, change the stretch vessel view to a calcified view. Rotate for an overall view. Use the perpendicular view for a closer inspection. The amount of tortuosity is represented by the yellow color in the graph. The brighter the yellow, the higher the tortuosity. Move the cursor line to an area of high tortuosity and use the volume rendering to inspect the vessel.